Hello, um, this is Victoria. I have recently received an email from somebody on YouTube asking me how to get different languages for your keyboard. Like example, let's say you have an English American or an English American keyboard, like I do, and you want to type in Japanese. While you ca obviously can't transform the keys, like you know, without maybe like a cover or something, like different stickers, to like make it look like a Japanese keyboard, you can, however, set your um, computer. So it writes with Japanese characters rather than going into character map and just, you know, having to copy and paste, which can be very annoying. Now for myself, I've used this because I type in German a lot and somebody actually asked me how to get German keyboard settings. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, as you can see, I've cleared everything. I basically only have, I think, English, uh, the English keyboard on the standard default one for my keyboard setting. And I think maybe French Canadian. I don't know. But anyway. I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, I have a Vista computer. Like, I'm using a Vista currently, but I also have an XP computer. Windows XP, that is. Don't have Mac, so don't ask me about that. So, um, the methods used are basically the same. There's slight differences. Vista is a little bit easier and a bit more obvious to get to. With Windows, you have to search a little more, but it's basically the same. You can figure it out. You can start off by going to Control Panel. Now when you get to control panel, you'll see clock language and region. You have to click on change keyboard or other input methods, not the clock language or region. You probably could, but don't. Um, then you go to change keyboards, it's pretty obvious. And as you can see, uh oh, okay, well that's not supposed to be there. Um, as you can see, it's only English Canadian, or English Canada, and it's the multilingual standard, meaning you know it comes with um, French characters as well, because not everybody in Canada speaks English. So now you just basically add a keyboard. And you can, as you can see, there's a bunch of different keyboards to choose from um, Luxembourgish, um, Russian, Ro Romanian, Switzerland, whatever. But we are going to choose German. Now I personally use just regular German, not Austrian German or anything like that. Just plain, simple German. You click on keyboard and then just German or US German. I don't know what that is, but I don't want to know. Anyway, um, you click on that, and you click OK. Up here, you can decide like which keyboard like setting you select you want to be your default. I personally choose German, but um, you should probably choose the um, English setting. And I'll show you why in a minute. But we'll just keep it at German, and click OK. OK, um, don't click OK yet. Now you need to go to the language bar. You can either keep it docked on the taskbar, um, and this is just for convenience, and it'll show a little thing there, or you can keep it floating on the desktop, which will put it somewhere around here, and you can move it around. I'm going to choose docked in the taskbar, and I click OK, and as you can see, now I have this with all my languages. I can change it to English, Canadian, United States, and German, and there you have it. But now, um, let me get to Notepad. Now, as you can see, I have all my German characters, it's cool, and everything else. But now, one thing I need to warn you about um, with the German keyboard is this. The layout is different from the English. As you can see, the Z and the Y are reversed. And one thing I really need to tell you about is the less than greater than symbols in this little line thing that I forget the name of. This is a key on a German um, standard German keyboard that does not exist on the English keyboard. So basically, if you have it set to a German setting, like I do right now, you will not be able to get this. Uh, you can try, but you're not going to get it. Last time I checked, unless there's some weird out code. But anyway, um, my suggestion for you is like, either keep it on English and only use it on German if you're typing in German or just do what I do and switch to English whenever you use that. I mean, how often are you going to use that? Come on, let's get real. Anyway, that's the only real inconvenience to it. Um, some of the symbols are slightly different. Exclamation points in the same place. Don't worry about this. If, as long as you have like your word processor set to English when you're typing, it won't do the uh, German first quotation marks up here, second ones down below. It's not going to do that. Um, these two, um, the parentheses are moved over a little bit. The equal signs here, question marks here rather than down here. It's a little switched. It's different. It takes a while to get used to, but once you do, it's really easy. 
but I hope I have helped a little bit and if you have really any questions just feel free to ask me um yeah this is fun and um I hope I've helped some people okay bye bye ciao